Welcome to module 2.0. In this lesson, you will understand how to start a new project and understand and set project units. A Revit project template starts a new project with a number of settings and view templates to make the project relevant for your particular industry. In later modules, you will learn the essential skills required to set up and create your own template with custom title blocks and content. You will also learn how to set up and configure project units, not just for common disciplines, but also for a structural discipline. Let's begin by creating a new project. The new project will be created from a template file. There's a couple of ways to do this. On the home screen, we can select new model. And when we do this, you can see that we are prompted to select a template file from the pull down list. So here, for example, I could select structural template. You'll notice here that we're creating a new project and I could click OK. Another alternative is to select browse. And when I select browse, I could point Revit to a particular template that I might want to be utilizing. Notice here that all of the templates have a file extension RTE, which is a Revit template file. Another option is to click the back arrow and then select the file ribbon. And on the file ribbon, I could go to new and then select project. And again here, you can see that I have then the new project dialog box. Once we have a new project created, I'll also show you how you can configure this list and add your own template into this list. To start a new project without a template, we're going to select structural template and then go ahead and click OK. In later modules, we'll understand the essential skills to build our own custom template with custom title blocks and customization that we may want. OK, so we now have a brand new project created and you'll note up here, you can see that we have in this case project five, but that will just be project one, project two, something like that. And you'll notice here that we have two floor plans. I have level one and level two. I also have an analytical plan for each of those and a site plane, which has a view range setting. We'll come back to this later on. You'd also notice that we have four default elevation views and of course a 3D view. I did also mention that I would show you how to configure that default list of templates in options. I also want to show you how you can configure the colors and things like background color in Revit. To do this, we'll go to options, select the file ribbon, and then here, select options. In the options dialog box, let's begin by taking a look at those template locations. If you select file locations, you'll note here that we have those templates that we discussed earlier on the simple drop down list. Now, of course, here we can add additional templates in, but we can also select a template and move this template up and down the list. As I said, in a later module, we will learn how to create our own bespoke templates. And of course, we can then add that to this list. It's also worth noting that if you have no templates available here, these can be downloaded from an Autodesk website and then you can install those into a folder and then point Revit to those templates. Let's now take a look at the graphics tab. On the graphics tab, we can select our background color that we want to work with. So most people will leave it to a default white background, but again, if you wanted to change that to another color, you could do that here. We can do the same thing for selection and pre-selection, alert, calculating, which is for background calculations such as structural connections, and also rebar editing, and you can see this color's green. Again, we'll come back to some of these settings once we've learned about selection and pre-selection. Go ahead and select OK. Let's now take a look at project units. Select the Manage ribbon, and on the Manage ribbon, click Project Units. In the project units dialog box, you'll note here that we can set up common units regardless of the discipline you're working with. So for example, here I can set up angles, lengths, areas, slopes, and so on. So because I've selected a metric template to start with, you can see that the length is already configured to millimeters. However, I might want to check and adjust the precision. 
So I can click on length in here, and you can see here we're running on millimeters. I can set my rounding in here or to a custom. And also I can suppress trading zeros if there aren't any. The nearest millimeter is fine for most of our construction based work. If I select angle here, you can see that this is defaulting to decimal degrees. Again, that might be fine, but again, I could change that and the precision. I'm going to leave this to two decimal places because, for example, if we're setting out grids, that can make the difference between an accurate and an inaccurate measurement. Something I will want to change, though, is the slope. You can see here that if I put a slope on a slab, that's going to be reported in decimal degrees. Now, that might be fine, but of course, other ways we might want to do that is perhaps using a ratio. So here I'm going to say a ratio to 10. And in this case, I'll use zero decimal places. And of course here now you can see I've got my unit symbol. So for example, if I've got a slope, it might say one to 10, two to 10 and so on. As I've said, this first dialogue here is for common project units. So this will be common across architecture, MEP and structure. Another thing we can do is we can go to the disciplines pull down and then start to look at specific discipline areas. So here I'm going to select structural and you can see here that I can then set up things like the area force. You'll notice here we've got uh, kilonewtons per meter. We have uh, reinforcement bar diameters in here, crack widths and so on. As we come further down the list here, you'll see that we have things like section dimension, section modulus and so on. These are currently set to centimeters. I will want to change those to millimeters later on. We'll do that at a later date. Revit 2021 now also supports uh, civil workflows. So again, here you can see that I've now got a new infrastructure discipline. And in here, I can set up my stationing, or as we say in the UK, chainage. Let's go ahead and select OK to the project units dialog box. So that concludes module 2.0. And in here, we've learned how to create a new structural project and set up and review the project units.